Olá a todos, sempre vet, uh, salut tout le monde, welcome to this video and welcome to my channel. In this video I'm going to talk about more language resources that I personally used to learn three languages as of now. So in the previous video I discussed how to, I created my own language learning materials Essentially, these um, are halfway free, or I mean, it um, costs the least because all you need is um, an access to internet and um, a device to access the internet, of course. Um, and I think, yes, so that is the cheapest. I mean, obviously the cheapest way is to have a friend who speaks the language and ask that friend to translate everything, um, to teach you everything that you want to know. Um, that's free. But at the minimum, if you have a gadget um, and you have access to the internet, you can already start learning another language um, as long as it's a uh, more it's a commonly used language like I said uh, maybe like I don't know there's I mean I s I've seen videos on um, teaching Icelandic um, and uh, this Haitian Creole so I think um, at least for basic words and phrases YouTube is your best friend and um, Google translation Google translator or deep L translator is your best friend and um, time and willingness to do these things those are the things that would help you start um, without breaking the back so that was the first video um well i discussed a lot of other th i mean more these things more in detail in that video so check that out um so for this video oh i also wanted to mention that youtube actually has a lot of cool resources um outside of looking for um, teach me our basics of XYZ language. Um, YouTube also has entire audiobooks for um, classics. Like for example, I've listened to Welkinista um, in European Portuguese or no, no in Portuguese. Well, I think there was an, there is an EU Portuguese um, version of Welkinista. And then uh, also um, The Little Prince, O Principe in EU Portuguese. I also listened to that. So that's um, several, like, uh, several hours worth of um, listening and reading if you click the um, closed caption. So that's also additional um, vocabulary for you to learn. And it's one of those like I read a lot so obviously I've read these books in English and reading them in the new target language um, helps I mean it helps that I've already I already know the story in in English so it's easier to connect the words and understand it um, so that's for the cheapest way to start learning another language. Um, so back to the point of this video, I'm going to talk about some paid services that is not quite a full language program, um, like going to school for a language or enrolling in a language school. Um, 
I personally think that I like this method more than enrolling in a class um, simply because first I'm not learning these languages because I need it for work or I need it because I'm moving to that place um, I'm learning these languages because I'm interested in them and I like to take my time and I like to choose the things that I want to learn um, I don't need I don't or I'm not interested in um, what do they call it like I'm not interested in how the grammar is created or why it is so because as I've I grew up learning uh, speaking five languages I only learned three in school and even with Mandarin we did not have grammar per se um, unlike in English that we were taught subject verb agreement um, like this is an adjective this is an adverb and this is a verb and this is an adjective and etc uh, Mandarin we didn't have that in Chinese class we were just taught through stories and although Mandarin is a difficult subject basically we operated um, having our Laosher tell us stories and we learn new vocabulary every day and then we would be unfortunately given exams on those things so we were taught to memorize stuff but repetition eventually um, we don't I don't remember majority of what I learned in school because a lot of the th things are history <laughs> I mean we were taught history um, so it's less dialogue probably so I think that's the only downside of my mm, Mandarin education is that we did not have a lot of um, day-to-day -day dialogues because we were all taught um, stories um history um, Chinese geography which I've forgotten already I just know where Beijing is and F Fujian province and some other places but the point is um, I'm not big into grammar that's just me so I will start now with um, Link. Okay, um, this is a paid service, um, but if it's an app and it's also um, on browser, um, and what I will just show you my phone. So this is. This is Link. So I have to show. So this is Link. Okay. So right now I am reading in German. Yeah, I have went started in German. I, I thought I would be this year, but I switched to French. So, but I, I have books saved in German. So then I have. Russian, French, Portuguese, and traditional Chinese. So I'm really, I really love this app because it is essentially like a Kindle or an ebook reader where you can upload things, um, ebooks, and they also have um, their own material, like basic beginner materials. They have like. And for the in the case of um, Portuguese, because there's a Brazilian accent and there's a European accent, and I learned the European accent, so they have um, a lot of mini stories in European Portuguese, and then it's it has sixty sixty lessons of sixty lessons of date a lot of things like. they have wait for example so these are stories basically that they talk about 
daily daily things like um, I wake up or this person wakes up and then they for each story there's um, uh, a like for example like he cooks at a restaurant and then they would repeat it into first person so there's third person and there's first person so it goes on until 60 60 stories and um, there are a lot of common verbs um, common um, nouns through these 60 stories um, so it's great for beginners and then as you move on to becoming an upper beginner to a low intermediate to advanced it's an app that I believe I will be using forever um, because it's easier to keep track as well so for example right now I'm reading Diosish Americanos so this is basically American Gods <laughs> in Portuguese and I'm reading that and okay so I can show you so I am reading here come on this is going to take a ugh. okay here we go there see um so I have uh oh no i am here at chapter no part seven actually so as you would see there the way link works is that when i open oh no 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 oh no i haven't i have not <sighs> wrong so the white stuff are words that i already okay that I already know and then yellow are different levels of understanding like for example I would see uh, like this word so it's essentially like a Kindle but then you could keep looking at the um, meaning of the word and then it saves how many words that how many words do you know so you could also see your progress as in for portuguese i know 5359 different words um for french 99 words for russian 500 615 words and for chinese traditional it's 98 but actually i'm just not <laughs> reading a lot uh, of Chinese traditional Chinese material because I'm learning other languages but the main attraction for me was to actually be able to read um, books in um, traditional Chinese because like look they even have the romance of the three kingdoms and I learned this in high school before high school starting sixth grade to high school we learned this and that would be cool if I'm able to like okay this is new so I haven't read this but what is this the <laughs> cub but so someone shared this um, the gutenberg.org epub and for this one Sanko, um I have 1,444 words that I do not know, so basically 98% unknown based on the app, but I know that I know more words than that based on, because I've, and okay, this is, this is, see, you even have the pinion of Mandarin if you're going to learn Mandarin. Um, I grew up learning Papa Mafa, um, but pinion is, is easy for me to um, read as well. Oh, so it's Ti Hui. Ti Hui. Ti Ti Hui. So, like, Ti 
the first prefix for a number I know what that is so now it's yellow but I actually know what it is so I would click the check mark here and now it's white meaning I know the word and so that means now I have 98 98 known words in 99 known words in from 98 so and then not only that you have all other languages that I might want to learn in the future Japanese Swedish um, you can see the Italian Korean Polish a lot um, it even has standard Arabic and Ukrainian Bulgarian Cantonese so many different languages it also has as Icelandic I would probably do that years later it has Malay um, it even has Tagalog I wish they changed that to Filipino because the language is actually Filipino. It has Serbian, Slovak, Turkish, Romanian, Persian, Norwegian. Check this app out. It has Icelandic. Uh, um, I have been. It has Gujarati, um, Hebrew, Hungarian. Uh, so there is. I think the even more is. I think maybe they're in the beta stages so there's greek there's latin there are just a lot of different languages and now i have materials in four okay um and then one thing about link as well is that you can upload um the transcript for movies from Netflix so for example if you're learning Spanish and you know um, you are watching um, La Casa de Papel Money Heist you could upload the transcript um, on there's a you can search it um, or open it in your browser and then upload it so I did this with silver skates for Russian but I have not gone through the story just yet <laughs> i tried but because i'm so far uh, i'm so i'm still in the beginner stages of russian so it's difficult for me to read um more complicated especially if it's movies if it's a movie but for portuguese i probably could do that but i'm reading the Osisha americanos right now that's it and then what else oh you can also upload um things from YouTube so for example let's see what I have here oh not only YouTube see like for example I have um, Portuguese with Leo or for example um, let's see let's see let's see oh like Wikipedia I was looking for on um, the Silk Road but I used again um, Portuguese as Portugal as my um, country so I import the Wikipedia for Jota de Seda that's it Jota de Seda Silk Road and now I can read it in this app so here let's start here 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 okay so I'm so far I haven't finished it hey come on I just want to okay so here Jota de Seda Jota de Seda Uma Serie de Jotas um, Interligadas like interconnected so like I wanted to check what interligadish meant and interconnected so that's correct and it would now be known as wait which one is it interligadish or a serie de jotas interconnected I think interligadish atrevish usadish no comercio de sen what am I doing no comercio de sede entre orient y europeo so basically that's it so everything that you can find online you could upload it to this app and you could read it on this app like like a kindle on your 
on your phone, on your computer, on your laptop, on your iPad. Um, and then you could add those words. So basically, if there's anything that can be translated to your target language, you can upload it. Um, Netflix shows, um, YouTube videos with transcripts because um, some video videos don't have captions but most videos do have um, it's really I highly highly recommend it for people who want to learn languages um, it can help you from zero until advanced but of course the most advanced would be to actually buy or purchase uh, an entire novel um, on your ebook reader so that would be my next after link would be ebooks ebooks on kindle or whatever e ebook reader you want to use and it's the same you can click the word where's my I can't find my kindle i am not prepared i don't know but i do have a kindle Oh, it's some okay. I have a Kindle, and as you know, if you um, you have an ebook reader, you could just press the word. Much oh, okay. I can also access my <laughs> my 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 Kindle here on my phone. So, okay, here. Like for example, I purchased Harry Potter, I a bit of Gamishta. Um, even the um, Rick Riordan Pyramida Vermelha, Vermelha. Um, I also have Diario de um Mago by Paulo Coelho um, oh I have learned French with Arsene Dupin um, o Príncipe Zinho, French okay I have I have all these books so for example uh, for example abri French, learn French with Arsène Dupin. So, start with the foreword, you would have the preface. And it's also preface. Racontez-nous. Racontez-nous. <laughs> so, and then... But this one is a do, like bilingual, so it already has the translation. So this was a not a good example but let's say okay let's start here harry potter a bed of philosophy currently in the blah 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 okay okay fine i'm here here so here so in this moment upon it harry levantos do sofa in retiro do de dentro do sobretudo and when chuva blah 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 for example i don't know what guarda chuva O que é isto? O que é isto palavra? Guarda-chuva? Umbrella. Brawly. So, this, like, candle. I just, it just occurred to me that I could have purchased <laughs> a Chinese novel, I mean, a novel in Mandarin before. and just read it using Kindle. But then I wouldn't have the pinion to tell me how to read because then I would have to buy the audiobook. So that's also the next one. Buy um, a Kindle, uh, uh, I mean an ebook, and then buy an audiobook. So once again, these are things that you have to purchase. Um, but I feel like I enjoy that more than actually enrolling in a class um, because I like to learn and read the stuff that I am interested in. And I'm not too interested in telling and having people tell me what I need to be reading because if I'm not interested in it I wouldn't find it um, fulfilling or basically I'm not interested in it why would I like in my case I like fantasy I like Game of Thrones I'm interested in, um, in environmental things as well so I could look up things on Wikipedia and read it in Portuguese or French or whatever which is why I love Link and then I buy books that I'm interested in like for example um, Harry Potter, Rick, Rick Riordan um, 
Paulo Coelho. Some people may don't maybe don't like those authors. Maybe some people like romance. Um, I don't know if you're an English learner, you might want to be watching Bridgerton. I find that too cheesy. So yes. So that's the point. My point is that with um, Link, um, YouTube, basically looking for your own materials and purchasing your own materials for la language learning, you will enjoy the language and then enjoy the things. I mean, you will enjoy the language because you're learning or reading things or being exposed to things that interests you. And that's basically what Steve Kaufman has always been saying is that you have to look for materials that are interesting to you. That's the only way you will be you would spend time with the language. And one of the reasons why I think I fairly did well in school with Mandarin is because I'm interested in Chinese history. Um, it's basically um, every palace every palace drama except taught in school and it's based on facts um and i find that interesting so that's why i was interested <laughs> i mean i was interested in listening to the teacher explain these um things i hated memorizing it of course exam nobody likes exams but that's how teaching goes and that's how traditional school goes and then that is how things work um hopefully in the future they would stop teaching languages the same way they teach math and science because um as i learned as i've learned language is fluid mm. and sometimes uh, and it's a subject that people can absorb subconsciously without be without trying too hard as in my case i suddenly one day was able to speak in cebuano without anybody telling me this means that so i've mentioned linked i've mentioned kindle ebook readers la 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 audiobooks audiobooks are perfect for pronunciation so my tutor asked me how come i pronounce things well in portuguese <laughs> it's because i've been listening to portuguese when i started in 2021 i listened a lot i listened to podcasts i listened to youtube i listened to things on netflix um on repeat and then basically mimic and then the final i think in this this would be um for actually from level zero to advanced hard copy books would also work like for example i have the short stories in french and in russian this is more difficult for me because this is in cyrillic but the stories like right now i haven't um gone past i haven't read past um the first short story but i think i will it actually says here that it is for a to to b1 level and i think this year finally after 13 months i am at a high a1 to an a2 so i think i would start reading the rest of the book and for French, this one's actually also A to B1, but since it's in the Latin alphabet and it is also a Romance language, just like Portuguese, I am able to read, I'll be able to read all of it, I think, um, faster than, of course, than Russian because of my... Um, previous knowledge of other languages so this is 
okay so this is um, by Ollie Richards and I like actually reading hard copy books like I have stopped purchasing um, thick novels um, like hard copies because I'm trying to minimize my life you know I have I've read probably I don't know have I read thousands of books I don't know I'm only how, many, how old am I and times maybe the ma maybe there was a time that I I read Harry Potter 5 Order of the Phoenix overnight when it came out before but that was when I was still in school and I had no big people responsibility and I wasn't adulting at the time so now I read books really slowly especially in different languages that I'm learning but again if I purchased hard copies of all the books I'm reading I would be drowning in books again <laughs> so I'm trying to minimize so I purchase things online so I could instead of having a lot of lots of bookcases and I don't have um, Belle's library you know Belle from the Beauty and the Beast I don't have her library um, but that would be amazing having a huge with all the languages that, okay going off I'm going off on a tangent but basically for this video that's it oh Athena Mugato Athena Monchat Mushat actually she's female so it's Monchat um Gota So yes um for this video those are the things that I wanted to talk about so these are the materials again my re own resources how I learn languages not through an online online like a school or formal setting but on my own and these are the things that I use so if you enjoy this video please give a like thumbs up and subscribe for content like this um, and hope that I helped you in or at least got you interested in trying to learn another language so thank you for watching this video and see you in the next one.